Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I have been missing in action for a while. I've been getting my house ready to put on the market. It just went up on the market today. So I felt I could actually relax a little bit and put some makeup on. We're going out for dinner and I'm gonna show you how I got this look. It's gonna be very easy. I actually didn't leave my seat once. I just used what was in front of me. That was very difficult. It's not perfect, but that's okay. I don't need to be perfect to go out. I just wanted to look fresh. So if you wanna see how I got this look, please keep on watching. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. I'd love for you to join our family here. We are just a group of loving, supportive women and we have fun and play with makeup and fashion and hair a little bit too. I hope you join us. I say us because it's a good group of women. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, it does help me out. It provides me with a small commission. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm just happy you're here. And let's get on with the video. I'm just starting off with some Lumify. I haven't used this in a while and I don't use it very often because my eyes tend to get a little bit dry when I use it. But tonight's a special occasion and I am tired and I just want to look a little bit brighter. I also noticed that my skin is looking more red than it normally does. I've been using a prescription retinol. My skin's not getting irritated so much, like it doesn't feel tight and dry, but I do notice that it looks a bit more red than usual. So I'm having to counteract that. I'm not sure how that's going to affect my makeup application and my matching, but we'll see. I'm going to do my best. Yeah, I feel like my eyes look better already. That makes a huge difference. I've prepped my skin already, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it again because it feels pretty fresh. Let me see what I have here. I want to use something with a little bit more coverage. So I pulled out Shiseido Radiant Skin. Shiseido Radiant? No. No, not Radiant. Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I really like it. I have it in two colors. And I feel like I have to mix the two maybe. Let's see if I mix the two. I feel like if I mix the two, it might be good. Okay, let's just go for it. I should tell you what two they are. The, oh, that looks crazy compared to this. I'm so red. I like that it's neutralizing the red, but it looks so off compared to the rest of my body. Did I go too light? And this is the issue. Because I went for a full coverage foundation or a medium to full coverage foundation, it's very visible when it doesn't match. But if I were to use a sheer foundation or a tint, then I would have been able to get away with it a lot better. Hmm. Okay, well, I like this part. I just have to figure out how to blend it all in. I like that it's covering really nice though. And it's radiant, so my skin still looks like skin. I hope. Oh, the dogs are barking. He's home. So I have to focus. I feel now that I've been sitting, the red is kind of popping through in a good way. Like it's starting to kind of mesh kind of a little bit. How do I fix that? Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm. I used this in a video the other day, and I don't know if I posted it. It really gave a nice sheer coverage and color corrected. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Have you seen me so red? I don't think so. Hold on. I don't love putting makeup on my body because I'm so afraid it's gonna get on my clothes. There, that worked. Okay. Oh, I look like I'm connected now. <laughs> I don't even know where the camera is on this phone. I hope I'm looking in the right direction. Okay, better, I feel better. I picked up a mini of the Huda Beauty. Oh, it's a baby bake, huh, that's cute. All right, and this is in peach pie. Let's hope I'm not making a mistake. I don't know if I got the right color, but I did wanna try it out. I've never tried out Huda Beauty's powder before. How? Am I doing it wrong? Okay, getting hot. Oh, 
I got it. Okay, so I just turned it. This is gonna be a simple makeup look because I don't want him waiting. I just wanna look fresh and pretty. Got it. Huh. I'm gonna try it with a sponge. Why not? I'm actually just gonna put a little bit on my hand. Whoa. Oh God. I didn't put concealer. I just noticed. It's, not, it's got a smell. <laughs> I don't mind it though. It's not my preferred method to apply powder. However, I don't wanna make a big mess. That looks good. My eyebrows are too dark. They'll tone down, it's okay. Okay, so far so good. I need concealer, shoot. Can I cheat and use this as my concealer? Maybe. Is this gonna be a bad idea? Maybe. It's all about testing, pushing the boundaries of your makeup. What will it do? Maybe nothing, who knows? I'm gonna go back into my powder now and I'm gonna to have to dirty a brush. I'm just gonna take whatever's in the rim here and a little bit on the sponge and pat it in. This is me being lazy. My makeup's just over there, but I'm comfortable. Definitely needs to be powdered though, for sure. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna spray this. I'm gonna use my MAC Fix It Stay Over. This is available to me right now without getting up, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sigma Cool Neutrals palette again. I think I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I'm gonna put Harvest all over. Again, this is really, really simple and easy, nothing complicated. Mainly on that outer, I guess, two thirds of the eye. And then whatever's left over, bringing it up. Circular motions and then bringing it in. Oh, my eyebrows are really cool and dark for my ginger hair. So I can't wait to move into the new house. You know when you get your mind set on something? My husband and I, we realized that we went to our first showing on the 6th of May and in just over two weeks, we bought a home. When we decide to do something, we go for it full force and it always has worked out for us. I just opened up about wanting to move. And as soon as he heard that, he's like, okay, I'm looking. And then right away we got a showing for a house and we went for a couple other showings and it all worked out. I think when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I am going to use my Swede Beauty Pencil. This is, I can't remember the name of this, but I really like it on the inside of the eye. I'll link everything in the description box for you as I always do. I'm gonna cheat and use this underneath the eye. This is a pretty fluffy brush for this, but we'll see. I just want that blended look anyway. Yep, that works. I don't know if you guys saw that I posted about Cass. She's the professional declutterer that I hired. She's now my new friend and I love her. She's wonderful. She helped me so much getting this house ready and decluttering years of stuff that I should have decluttered a while ago. I'm gonna use a bit of this gold. It's called Burst. I think it will look nice with my earrings. I'm just gonna put a little bit there and a little bit there. Did I use this before when I tried this palette? I can't remember. Okay, and I'm gonna use that same brush that I used before and blend out the edges. Yeah. I think that looks pretty with the red and the gold. I purchased this during the Sephora sale and I still haven't looked at it. I don't even know if it's still available anymore. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glowy Blush Bar. 
And I think I'm gonna use the highlight in this for the inner corner of my eye. It did say limited edition. I think it's gonna be pretty. I'll probably use this blush and I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. So dabbing into this one. And yeah, I just wanna brighten this up in here without it looking like really sparkly. I always have a towel on my glass table so it doesn't make so much noise and I took it off for the photos. That's loud. I haven't put any bronzer on yet though. Um, do I have a bronzer in here that I don't have to get up? <laughs> oh, I have this. I also got at the sale the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I'm gonna use this and see if I can create some depth with it. I could use this for a whole eyeshadow look if I wanted. Not how I would typically do things, but I, I'm lazy. I don't know if that works. I'm gonna wipe this brush off. This is an old Bobbi Brown brush. I don't know if it's still available. And I'm gonna go into this one right here, which is called Luminous Rosy Peach. I think that should be nice. Oh boy. Okay, that is really luminous. Okay, how do I diffuse this a little bit? I'm gonna go back in with my Huda Beauty. I'm actually going to put a little bit in my hand like that. And I'm gonna use my blush brush because I'm lazy. And I'm gonna go around the edges here, see if I can blend that out and make it a little bit more natural. Which side do we like better, this side without the powder or this side? Yeah, I feel more comfortable with that. Well, I definitely match the red now. So everything's looking good. I gotta curl my lashes. I'm gonna use a refer lash curler. I'm just gonna clean it off here, make sure there's nothing on it. I have to tint my eyelashes too, but I didn't have time today. All right, I'm gonna use my MAC Cosmetics Magic Extender, no, Magic Extension, and hopefully this has not dried out. I have that bad habit of trying new mascaras and letting the other ones wear out or dry out. Oh, what a waste. So this mascara has the fibers in it, I would describe it as like when you use a lash primer, it's almost like it's got the lash primer in it. That's what it feels like. Oh, I have one lash that's wild. I'm so close to the camera, I'm sorry. My face gets distorted when I get too close. How is my time? When I'm filming from my phone, I cannot check my time. That's the problem. I almost feel like I need to bleach these now. It's okay, they'll settle down. We went and saw my son's place where he's living for the military. He's in the barracks. He calls it the shacks. I was so surprised how barren it is. Like, I've been asking him, would he, oh no, I'm out. Am I? Oh no. Oh shoot, I've been asking him, what do you need, what do you need? And he wouldn't tell me. And I don't know if he didn't wanna ask for my help or what. And when we went to see his place, I'm like, you have nothing. <laughs> like, they don't provide anything. They don't even have a blind that actually works in their room. So that's my next mission is to make his place look a bit more like home. It's awful, like really, really depressing to see how he's living. And I don't understand, like people have families living there too. The kitchen, the, all the coating of the pans are all scra uh, scratched, I can't talk. You can't use that, don't use that. That's gonna be making you sick. Anyway, we gotta work on that for him. For lips, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury. What is this? I cannot see what this is. I love this formula though. I do think I used it in another video. I'll link it below. I didn't put lip liner on. 
I kind of feel like I should have put lip liner on. Oh, trying to cheat. I'm about to eat, so this is coming off anyways. Is that the laziest thing you've ever heard? Summer nights are supposed to be loose and free, right? That's what I'm doing tonight. So I'm gonna head off and have a good dinner with my husband. I hope this helps inspire you in some way. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.